right? Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Halayim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Call Kadas, double honors to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, the twelve is truth, honors and salutations to all Sisiakim throughout the four corners of the earth, laboring in honesty, sincerity, charity, honesty, sincerity. Charity and sound doctrine. All right, because those are heavy words right there, man. All right, my name is Maka Allah Bun Gab on Yasha Allah. I'm with the Watchman Philadelphia camp, and um, I just was, you know, I was just going to go over uh, the book of John, chapter 10, man, because that's a you know, a, a heavy book, man, you know, and um, it's, it's very, very edifying. You know, for for the Akwat, for the Ak and the Akwatium, for the Akim and the Akwatium. You know, the Book of John is is, is deep, man. And this chapter is deep too, but you know, because Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah is deep, man. You know, that's why you gotta give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, true living powers, man. All right, but um, let me just hop right into it. <clears throat> this is uh, the Book of John. Chapter 10, verse 1. It says, um, Salakia. Hold on, let me grab the first piece of the first. Nah, that on deck. <clears throat> Alright, Salakia. This is, um, the book of John, chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way the same as a thief and a robber man all right so how you going to enter into the sheepfold man through your howl by shim yahweh shah man but you got these other uh um guys like you know these church church pastors <clears throat> dudes of that nature that um you know try to learn the bible and, and and break it down wrong and you know just just being false man so they did being a robber and a thief man Cause you're trying to steal, you're trying to steal the Bible and try to use it for your own personal gain, you know. But you got dudes in the truth that do that too, man. Not just these, uh, not just these pastors and all that, man. But um, it says, uh, but he that entereth in by the door is the is the shepherd of the sheep. All right. So if you enter by the door, you got to enter by your house, by your house, man. By your house, man. All right. It says to him, the put the porter openeth. And so like, yeah, to him, to him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he call his own sheep by by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And the stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers, man. So, yo, I know a brother did a video a while back, man. And um, basically it was, um, you know, they did a comparison. They had an actual shepherd that, that actually that heard his sheep, man. You know? And they put uh, a couple different people to try to call the sheep the same way he do. And he was yelling and yelling and yelling and all that. The people was, you know, the different people that they the, uh, that they picked to to try to make the sheep move to hear the to hear the voice. Them sheep wouldn't move, man. They just kept doing what they doing, kept eating and all that, like like they wasn't being talked to. But as soon as that shepherd came, man, and he spoke and he spoke his voice, how he speak to them, they heard that shit and they started running towards him, man. You know, so that's the same way, like um, with this truth, man. With Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, man. When you hear his voice and you gonna know it, how you gonna hear that voice is through through through, through his men that's speaking of the right sound doctrine. You know, cause you got dudes that's in his truth that go off a lot, man. You got them churches, you know, and they be going off. But the church is off completely, man. You know, they just now trying to cause they seeing the, the uh the prophecies be fulfilled. Cause this twenty eighteen, man, the year of prophecy, man. So a lot of things are being fulfilled. And uh, you know, what it say the power so stand in fear, man. But um Yeah, so alright. So I'm gonna grab uh 
for that verse five it says and a stranger will they not follow but will flee from him for 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 they know not the voice of strangers man so yo in this in this uh truth you gotta be careful who you follow after man and just in life period man because you have a dude that'll come in and lead you astray man you know but this is um second corinthians chapter 11 starting at verse 13 it says for such are false prophets deceitful workers transforming themselves <laughs> transforming themselves into the apostles of hamashiach all right so you got dudes that you know, they might learn you know you got matter of fact like i'm saying them, them churches man you know even dudes in the truth man they learn they learn something get something down whatever and then they want to act like they 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 that guy man especially in them churches man they want to act like they 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 who they are man you know truth you, like it, it, it applies man for everything man you know people learn things and then act like they 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 was um taught directly from yahweh by shimmy shot man and they act like they could lead a flock when they never even been in a flock you know yeah, it's, it's called it's called levels to this thing, man. You know, you have to be under somebody, man. You know, you don't just come into this thing and just be the head. No, you don't. You know, because when I came into this thing, I was under somebody. And guess what? I'm still under somebody, man. You know, so I'm not claiming myself to be the head of all this. When Apostle Tahar came in, who was he under? He was under somebody, man. You know. And look where he's at now, but you got people that want that shine, man, and don't understand what comes with that shine. This shit ain't easy, man. It's easy, uh, uh, you know, when um, you got the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh but you got dudes that's weak minded and they'll fall apart, man. All right, but uh, verse 14. It says, and no, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light, man. So yeah, so Satan is transformed to an angel of light. What's that? That means they, they be coming out with some truth, man. You know, they transform into an angel of light to bring some truth, but they still put them lies in that truth, man. You know, bottom line. And you got, you got black ass Satans too, man. You know? So you gotta be real careful. If you don't, if you don't, if you're not a man of the Lord, man, if your how about Shimmy I was shine choose you, man, you're not gonna hear his voice, man. Bottom line. I don't, I don't care how hard you try to force it, how hard you try to portray that image, you know? Because brothers see bro, brothers that's wise, man, they fall back and they can see through bullshit, man. They might not speak on it. And and you think you're getting away with something, but you ain't getting away with nothing, because guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh sees all things, man. Straight up. <clears throat> uh, verse 15 says, Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works, man. So yeah, your end going to be according to your works. And guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh knows. Um... He knows his men's uh, 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 minds, man. He knows your intentions, basically. All right. He know if you if you if you sincere or, or you full of shit. You know, because you got a lot of dudes that's full of shit, especially them churches, man. All right. This is um. <clears throat> uh, back in John. Chapter seven, Slaki. Chapter ten, verse seven. Matter of fact, Salakia, verse 6, it says, This parable spake Yahweh Shah unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. See? Because they didn't, they didn't, they didn't know his voice, man. That's why they didn't understand. Uh, it says, Then, then said Yahweh Shah unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of of the sheep all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers but the sheep did not hear them all right so all the all the people that follow after these different dudes man and different doctrines and all that they they not the sheep of yahweh uh uh uh, uh yahweh man 
even though you do have, you know, uh, Israelites that follow false doctrines and shit, they're not of the elect, man. And right now we're only dealing with the elect. That's it. The elect are going to hear and be delivered, man. And we, they, well, you know, we're going to go down there. It gets into all that, man. That's why I like this chapter, man. It's very heavy. It says, um, uh, all right, go, go on to verse 8 again. It says, all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. All right. So you can go to uh, John. John uh, 14 and 16. Well, you know, which talks about the, uh, the comfort, you know, he's going to send you another comforter, you know. So you're going to go, go in and out as you please. Why? Well, it says, I am the door. By, by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Mm -hmm. All right? So if you enter in through Yahweh by Shem Shai, you shall be saved. Because Yahweh Shai is the mediator, man. Between us and Yahweh, man. All right? It says, and shall go in and out and find pasture. Okay? It says, uh, the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill... And to destroy. So who's that thief, man? You got you got niggas that's uh, uh, Israelites uh, playing the role of the thief. Right? You got IUIC, man. You, just basically all the churches, man. All these nigga churches, man. You know? Different camps, man. And all that, man. Um, well, mainly Esau, man. Because he sets up all that. All right? Esau sets up all that. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Um, verse 10 it says, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. All right. So you got dudes out there that talk a lot of shit. Yo, I do this for you, brother. I love you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I lay down my life for you, but when it comes down for it, you know, when it comes down to, to do that, they haul ass, man. They know where to be found. Like, like, a <laughs> that song from 50 Cent, uh, when he was like, nobody likes me, but that's, Okay, cause I don't like y'all anyway. But he was like, it was one one lyric when he said, he said these coming around, nowhere to be found. Like you know, like the cops come looking for him, he ain't gonna be found. That's that's what these are uh, uh, these uh, other um groups, man, and these churches, the pastors in these churches, man. When they start coming around you up for martial law and all that shit, they ain't gonna be nowhere to be found. They gonna haul ass on you. Why? Because they made that deal. And they, guess what? They probably get rounded up too, man. You know? If they don't already have that chip. You know? But as he says, I am the good shepherd. So yeah, if, you, if you're if the good shepherd, you're going to take care of them sheep, man. And you're going to pattern yourself at the how about semi out shy, man. And feed the sheep the right way, man. And don't lie and be in order and all that, man. Because you got dudes that be going off a lot, man. Like a lot. And they doctrines, man. But guess what, man? Soon they're going to get exposed, man. It says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Okay? So let's get our Isaiah 40 and 11. All right, <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 11. It says, he shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are, are with young, man. So, yeah, when you got a, uh, a group with you 
or, or a pastor, you know all that, man, you take care of him, man. You take care of him. All right, you, you take care of the, you take care of those sheep, man, because you don't uh like that song, and that's why I always love that song, man. Um, you know uh. Um, damn, what's this guy's name? Capleton. He got the song Wings of the Morning. He got that one lyric when he say, lead the, lead the sheep astray and you must get punished. You know what I'm saying? So let's, let's keep going, man. <clears throat> uh. But yeah, man. Let's keep going. Uh, this is verse 12 again. No, Salaka. This is verse eleven. It says, "I'm I'm the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth this giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling, he that is an hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, see if the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them." And scatter the sheep. So yeah, that's like what we just explained, man. You know? If the sheep are not yours, and they're not given to you by your how about shimmy I was that's what you're gonna do, man. You going you you the uh, the head gonna flee. If your how about shimmy I was shot and give you those sheep, when when shit hits the fan, the head man gonna flee, man. Alright? He ain't gonna lay down his life for you. With these churches, these camps, all of that, man. And you guess what? When you, if you don't know somebody, that's why I call them a stranger. They could be very well setting your ass up, man. Because you do have agents in this thing, man. And these agents going around searching for brothers and all that, trying to get you know, and and and, and set your ass up. You know. Uh. Slocking. Yeah, so um you gotta you gotta be careful slocking, man. I had to pause it for a second. But um yeah. That's that's uh, I'm gonna read that again, man. Verse twelve. It says, But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd, alright, so you're hired, who you hired by, man? Satan. You know? You're not hired by your how about shimmy I was shy. Because it's telling you, but he that is a hireling and not the shepherd, whose own sheep are not, who, who whose own the sheep are not. <clears throat> so like, mm -hmm. see if the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth because he is an hireling and careth not for the sheep. All right, so these niggas don't care about you. Or, or or your uh or, or your salvation, man. They just worried about themselves, man. Making themselves look good. You got dudes that just want to look good in front of the camera. Look good for men. You know? Look good for Esau. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, man, I'm doing it. You see me? I got this. I got this fruit. I got all that. No, man, it ain't all about that, man. You know, you're supposed to take that lowly road, man. There's only two brothers in this camp. And that's all it need to be, because we ain't working with a whole bunch of numbers, man. You know? Because you get a whole bunch of niggas around you, that causes confusion, man. You know? And and uh, it, it keeps away the hirelings. <laughs> keeps away those hirelings, man. But, uh... <laughs> what's going on, man? Uh, it says, uh, verse... All right, verse 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 thirteen. It says the hireling fleeth because he is he is a hireling and careth not for the sheep. Verse fourteen. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep, and and am known of mine, man. So let's go to Second uh, Timothy, okay, chapter two and nineteen. Second Timothy uh, two nineteen. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2 and 19. It says, Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having this seal, Yahweh Shem Yahweh know of them 
that are his and let everyone that nameth the name of Ham of Hamashiach depart from iniquity, man. All right. So everyone that nameth the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua Hamashiach, man, that that's true. That's that 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 Yahweh Bashim Yahshua put together. You know, they're going to depart from iniquity. They're going to depart from their sins, man. You know, like what's the day the day of atonement, man? So if you want to know. And you read the scriptures, you know what you're supposed to be doing today. Alright? You know what you're supposed to be doing today. Alright, uh, let's go to 1 Timothy. Salakia. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. It says, For the which cause I also suffer these things, nevertheless I am not ashamed, for I am known, for I, for I know whom I have believed. And and persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day, man. So you gotta have faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. And know. Cause you got dudes that they really don't have faith, man. That's why they need a whole bunch of niggas around them, man. You know, they might go out there, you know, and, and uh 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 you know, you know what I mean, go by themselves and all that, which that's good, you know. And and uh so so good faith and all that. But what's your intentions, man? What's your intentions? But anyway, going to verse 15, it says, As the Father know of me, see that? As the Father know of me, so the Father know you know your house size mine. Even so I I the Father. So you're gonna know your how your how about see me outside's will. It says, I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. All right, so you gotta be ready to die for this thing. Like Biggie said, I'm ready to die. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> you gotta be ready to die for this thing, man. You know, and for your brothers, man. If you if you really care about them, like if you a nigga in the world and all that, and, and uh, like niggas like to say, man, I take a bullet for you, bro. I die for you, my man. You know, do this, do that. You know, you you like yo. You, I never turn on you, dog. As soon as them feds come knocking and snatch our niggas up, they be the first ones in there snitching. Yo, man, his name is so-and-so. He live here. He keep his work here. His girls stay here. His kids go to school there, and they ain't even asked the nigga a goddamn question yet, man. So you got to think about that, man. You got to think about that. You just can't be running with any old nigga, man. They got to prove they so, man. You know? That's called wisdom. It's the thing called wisdom and pride. All right. Uh, all right. It says, as the Father know of me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And 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 other and other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold and one shepherd, man. So you got a lot of different Israelite groups, man. You know? But as long as they teaching that sound doctrine, and I'm going to say it's uh, what the apostles of GMS got, you know? But you got other camps that's not GMS, like DTA, like Watchmen Philadelphia, you know? Um, just to name a few, I believe Men of Valor teach the same doctrine, you know? But um, you got you got uh, uh, brothers like that, and that's why this this why Yahweh said what he said he said, and he said and other sheep I have which are not of this fold, man. So just because you're in GMS or in DTA or or Watchmen Philadelphia, Men of Valor, whatever, doesn't mean you're gonna make it, man. All right, the Lord set up things. You might even have uh, some of that luck in IUIC. And GOCC, who knows, man? Or, or, or when it comes to that day, when it's time to time to face the music, that's when you're gonna know, man. All right, it says um. It says in other sheep, I have which are not of this fold, them also I, I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one sheep, Salaki, and one shepherd, which is Yahweh. 
Therefore doth my father love me because I laid down my life. You hear that? Therefore doth my father love me because I laid down my life. That I might that I might again take that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This this commandment have I received of my father, man. So yeah, they ain't kill your house side, your house side put his life down, man. You know? Because he had that power to do so. Alright? Like he said, with the things that he did back then, we're gonna be able to do in the kingdom, man. You know? It's that simple. Alright. Um, verse 19, let me see something, man. I might make this a two-parter. Uh, all right, verse 19 says, There was a division there, there, there was a division, therefore again, among the Jews, for these sayings, and many of them said, He hath the devil, and is, is mad. Why hear him? Others said, these are not the words of him that hath a devil. Can the devil open the eyes of the blind? You know, which uh, Yahweh Shai did, man. And uh, Exodus, uh, well, matter of fact, he did that. But if you go back to Exodus 4 and 11, it, it talks about uh, opening the eyes of the blind and the, the mouth of the dumb and all that. All right, it says, um, verse 22, it says, And it was at Jerusalem the feast of the, of, of the dedication, and it was winter. And Yahweh walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt if thou be the if thou be the Hamashiach? Tell us plainly. That's why I spoke to him in parables, man. Because it wasn't for them to understand at that time, man. You know? Now mainly, man, I just, you know what? I mean, we're going to keep on going, man. Cause this is a good chapter, man. I just want to read the whole thing, man. Uh, Yahweh answered them, I told you, and you believe not the works that I do in my Father's name. You know what? I'm a, I'm gonna end it right there, cause that that's 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 starting a whole another different now, <clears throat> whole another different lesson, which we can come back and do that. All right, but uh, with that, man, I hope uh, brothers and sisters will edify, man. You just gotta be mindful of um, who you dealing with, man. Who you be around, and uh, and and doctrines that that are being pushed, man. Cause Yahweh Yahweh shy to the sheep, gonna hear his voice, man. So if you want to his sheep, you gonna hear the voice. You gonna know the doctrine. You gonna you gonna move a certain way, man. You ain't gonna move how everybody else move. You know. But this thing is real, man. And a lot of dudes get in this thing and don't even know what they're getting into, man. All right, with that, man, I hope this lesson was edifying. I hope it made sense, man. I hope I wasn't rambling, you know. And uh, until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom.